This is a brief overview of mobile notifications on Android and iOS with Delphi XE5. Notifications are handled through the T Notification Center component. To send a scheduled notification, first we want to check with the Notification Center to see if notifications are supported. If they are, then we create a notification, give it a name. This name is used if we want to cancel it later. An alert body, which is text displayed for the user. We also give it a fire date, in this case is now, plus five seconds into the future. And then we call schedule notification, passing the notification object we created. When we're done, we can call dispose of. To send a notification immediately, this is the same, except instead we call present notification. Alternatively, we can use a fire date of now and call schedule notification. To cancel our scheduled notification, we simply use Notification Center, Cancel Notification, and then the name of our scheduled notification. If we want to cancel all notifications, we use Cancel All. Canceling a scheduled notification will prevent it from notifying the user if you cancel it before the time has elapsed. Or if it's already appeared, Cancel Notification will cause it to be removed from the Notification Center. Here it is running on my Galaxy S3. We tap Send Scheduled Notification and wait five seconds, even if our app has closed out of memory, the notification will still fire. And we see the icon in the upper left-hand corner showing us that we have a notification pending. You can swipe down and see that notification waiting for us with the alert text. We can say send notification immediately and it shows up right away. And now we have a second icon. We have a second icon because the notification has a different name. If the notification shared a name, they would only have one icon. We swipe down and we see both notifications are there. We can cancel the scheduled one, which removes it, and it would have prevented it from firing had it not fired yet, or cancel all, which gets rid of all the notifications. Here's the same app has been now built for the iOS simulator. Now the notifications are right now set up to just show up in the system tray. So right now there's no notifications. So I'm gonna say send immediately and send scheduled. I pop this down and we see there's the immediate one and there's the scheduled one. Now the user can change their preferences per application as far as how these notifications show up. But this is a great example of the same application, one code base running on both Android and iOS with Delphi XE5.